Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video we're going to be doing another Forza Thumb Guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of this week's Forza Thumb challenges. Now this week called Over the Road wants you to complete all of the challenges using the 2015 Mercedes-Benz number 24 tank pool racing truck. Now you can find this just by filtering the cars in your garage to trucks and you will find it under Mercedes-Benz. If you haven't got one you can pick it up in the auto show for half a million credits credits or probably find it a bit cheaper in the auction house. Now I would definitely recommend tuning it from stock for all of the challenges, not so much the last one but definitely the first two. Uh, I have created an S1 class tune, it's called 168 mile an hour and the share code is 5532502202 and I'll come on to that more for the second challenge. But for the first one, it just wants you to win three street race events. Now, these are literally street scene races that come under a street uh, race category. Now, I went for the Batham Gate one right at the bottom at the south of the map by Broadway there. The reason is I just always use that one, so I pretty much know the route. Now, you have to bear in mind, of course, for this, you're in a truck. They do not handle or perform like your normal supercar. So if you need to adjust the difficulty, I would recommend doing so. I stuck with it and stayed at expert, but because it's a Forza Thon challenge, it really doesn't matter. You can go to amateur or you can use pro or whatever sort of difficulty you want. It really doesn't affect the outcome as long as you win the race in terms of it doesn't penalize you. It won't fail the challenge if you're on an easier difficulty. So I would recommend doing that because you've got to remember in a street scene event, your competition, your opponents uh, are, are going to be in not trucks let's put it that way they're going to be in ferraris and things so i'd recommend doing that and getting a decent tune on it and then winning three street scene events will be fairly easy now the next challenge here wants you to get three stars at any speed trap in your racing truck now this one was fairly difficult and i spent a lot of time tuning the truck to make it really easy uh, so that's why i recommend using the tune that i created called 168 mile an hour i then recommend hitting the asmore speed trap the reason is for three stars on there you only have to hit 148 mile an hour uh, and i recommend starting just above the asmore sign there uh, and you'll fly well over 140 mile an hour mark so as you can see there i hit 160 like i said i spent a lot of time trying to perfect that tune did a lot of test runs and finally got there so it should be fairly easy for you guys to complete now for the final challenge, it just wants you to earn 10 trade in paint skills. First of all though, I'd recommend heading into Horizon Solo because there is going to be more AI cars driving around the map. And then I recommend heading over to the motorway as there is a denser population of these AI cars. Now for those of you who don't know, a trade in paint skill just wants you basically to ding into another car. Now I'm not on, on about sort of slamming into them from behind, you want to just come alongside them and gently nudge them off the road, so, shall we say. Um, you don't want to be hitting them too fast, uh, and of course, it didn't really matter if you're going fairly slow. Uh, around the 70 to 120 mile an hour mark should do you. And like I said, all you've really got to do is ding them from the side. If you rear end them and slam into them with your front end, you're not likely to get it. So just pull up alongside them and gently nudge them with your truck. And all you have to do is get that 10 times. And as you can see in this little clip on the motorway, uh, I pretty much get it in around about a minute and of course being in horizon solo mode does help because like i said there is a much denser population of ai cars whereas if you're online there's a lot less of them and if you run into anyone else like another online player they'll just ghost right through you but anyway guys i hope that this video did help you out uh, if you have any questions about any of the challenges please do let me know and I will respond to every single one of your comments down below. Whether it's Forzathon related or not, I will always jump on to help you guys out. And don't forget to stay tuned because a couple of hours after this video comes out, I will of course be doing my photo guide for week 5's photo challenge. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, it massively helps me out. And if you enjoyed and this video helped, don't forget to drop a like as well. But apart from that folks, all the best, stay safe and take care.